Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Big Grip Games. Today we're going to be showing you how to add a zombie into your scene completely free with a model from the asset store. In an animation, you can find the download link in the description. That's also free. So first thing you want to do is open up your scene. I have my scene ready and I'm going to pull the model from the asset store. So you want to go to window, asset store, and in the search asset store box, type zombie. It should be one of the first ones that come up. You can see the zombie character pack. The importing package window will come up, hit import. That'll put the zombie into your project folder. So now we have two zombies, a high res and a low res. Let's use the high res. Go ahead and click the asset and in the inspector tab, click on rig. And for animation type, you want to put this as humanoid and click apply. This will match up with the animation that we bring in in a little bit. Click configure. It'll ask you to save the scene. Go ahead and save it. And this will bring up the mapping of your character. Just make sure that everything is green and it should be okay already. So next we want the animation. Just drag that in the folder and now it is in our project. So the first thing you want to do is go to animation type and click humanoid so it matches our rig. Click apply. And if you click on the animations tab for the animation, you will see the clip that we have. You can click the play button and it will show you a preview of the animation. And you can see the entire clip is a couple seconds of him standing idle and then he starts to walk. So I'm going to break up that clip into two animations that we can use. One for idle and one for walk. The animation clip that I have includes two animation types. The default take doesn't have anything useful in it, so click on Zombie Mummy Straight Walk. And I'm going to name the first animation idle and name the second animation in the clips Zombie Walk. For idle, I am going to set the lengths to right after he lifts his arms all the way to right before he starts walking about 36 to 114 on the frames and we want to loop that and then it's important to click the loop pose this will make sure that in between the end and the beginning it will transition smoothly or else it'll be really jerky unless it's perfectly matched up so that's good for idle let's go to the zombie walk and set the length to when he starts walking and then the end frame to somewhere that matches up close to where he's at when he finishes when he starts walking so that's about right again click loop time and clip click loop pose so now we have our two animations defined we have the idle and the zombie walk so when you click apply to that it will change the two animations in the zombie walk folder to the idle and the zombie walk. So now we want to make an animation controller that tells our game when the zombie will be idle and when it will walk and also to apply those animations to our figure. So go ahead and add the zombie to the scene. You can see our zombie right there. So now we need to create an animation controller for the character. So in your project folder go to create and you can find animation con animator controller, not animation, and let's name it zombie animation controller. If you click that, it should bring up the animator screen. And here we can just drag in the animations that we already made right onto the interface. So find those in the zombie walk folder, drag in the idle, and drag in zombie walk. The first clip that you drag in is orange, and it will always be orange for the first one. That makes it the default clip. So when it starts, it will always be idle. You can change anything you want to the default. Just right click and set as default, and you can see the color will change. But for this, we want idle to be the default, so set that as default. And we want to make it so you can transition between idle and the walk. So click make transition from idle to walk, and we also need a transition back from walk to idle. So the transition icons will come up the line with the arrow and if you click from idle to zombie walk it will bring up in the inspector. So now we need to add a parameter so it knows when to display the zombie walk and when to animate the idle. So I'm going to add a float and call it speed. 
will apply a speed to the zombie model and whenever it's moving it will play the zombie walk so we can go into the transitions that we made click the arrow from idle to zombie walk and set the condition to speed and here you will set if speed is greater than 0 0.1 then transition to the zombie walk and we want to do the same thing from zombie walk back to idle so click that transition arrow and again click the condition as speed and this time less than 0 0.1 which means when the speed is less than 0 0.1 transition from zombie walk back to idle now we can apply this animation controller to the zombie model so let's go back to the scene we see the zombie model and we have our animation controller zombie animation controller go ahead and drag that right on the zombie high res so now it has the animation controller now if we click play we can see that the idle animation is playing because it's the default state so we need to tell the program to give it speed somehow so i'm going to make a script on the zombie i'm going to add component script and i will be using c sharp scripts and i will call it zombie walk if you double click that script it will bring up mono develop and inside the script we want to be able to access our variables from the animation controller so i'm going to put protected animator my animation in the start i'm going to initialize that and set it to the component inside of the model so you want to say my animation equals get component animator in the update function we're going to set the speed so we want to access the speed variable so you can go my animation dot set float and the variable that we want is speed which is the first input and we're going to set the value to the vertical axis input so input get axis vertical now this will set the value of speed to the vertical input of the user which is defined in your unity settings but usually by default is associated with the w and the s key save the script and go back to unity now let's see what happens when we push play so again we have our idle playing as it's our default and if we click w now we see the zombies start to walk but the zombie is super slow because of the animation defaults so we're going to speed it up a little bit so you can change the animation speed by going to your zombie animation controller and clicking on the animation one of the fields is speed and for idle let's change that to 1.5 and click zombie walk and let's change that to 3.5 now if you play again you'll see the animations are sped up so now his idle should be a little faster and if you hit w to walk forward his walk is much faster now too And that's it, you have a zombie in your scene. It was completely free. All you need to do is get the model from the asset store, download the animation from the animation link in the description. If you have any suggestions or want to see any specific tutorials, just let us know down in the comments. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.